let's get started here. Uh, it is four months, 27 days. Picking up right at the end of the last episode. And haven't been playing too much Zomboid recently. Kind of took a break from it. I figure let's get back in the swing of things and uh, you know, get some more episodes recorded. So today the plan is... It looks kind of bare in here with the concrete floor. So I'm going to go get some rugs. You know, liven up the place a bit. Those concrete floors are just kind of depressing. Need some rugs to spice it up. Uh, I'll go get those from those houses uh, that are right nearby. The two-story houses. Because they should have a bunch of rugs in them. So let's get going here. That berry salad should uh, do me for a while. So let's put the armor on. And while looking for rugs, I could also get some spear practice, because I think I'm pretty close to level 10 in spear. Uh, but not quite there yet. Gotta get a little bit more practice. So let's get going here. Looks pretty clear out here. Doesn't look like there's any zombies. They're gonna chomp on my brains as soon as I jump out. Which is always a concern of mine. We'll take the beater ambulance. And let's get going. This engine noise is kind of loud. Ooh, almost flip over the ambulance. That would be bad. So I gotta turn that down. Sound settings. I already did turn it down, but it's still loud. So these houses should be right over here. Yep, there's the fence for them. And there's a few zombies around here. Like there's too many to handle. So I should be pretty safe. And let's get the spear out and get going. Four over here. Let's spear them. You know, with this high level, the spear is actually not so bad. Nope. Well, um, unless you get cocky. <laughs> oh, God. There we go. Yeah, gotta stop being so cocky. But the spear does seem to one-shot pretty regularly at this level. Without the XP modifier, though, it's doubtful that a lot of people will get this high level. It'd take a long time. It's just the default. There's a bunch of them in here. Well, let's try to do this. Oh, that failed miserably. Ground attack with the spear doesn't seem to work very well. Thanks to Shirley's amazing stealth abilities, it's actually hard for the zombies to spot her. Yeah, let's see what these guys got. Let's get some offerings for Spiffo going. Got this nice orange rug in here. Always good for the Spiffo shrines. I've been lagging on my offerings to Spiffo, so I gotta make sure to get as many as I can to appease him. Let's take this rug. <laughs> throw it in my backpack. And 
Let's eat some more of this berry salad. These berry salads are pretty good with the hunger, but you'll lose weight if you keep eating them all. Because they don't have any fat. In fact, how is my weight doing? Uh, it's going down again. I gotta, gotta eat some more fatty foods. Get Trailey's weight back up. I still haven't put traps on the roof. I keep saying I'm gonna, but I haven't yet. Uh, that'll be a good project for a rainy day. That was weird. Yeah, no rug in here. Because the radio has been saying it's gonna rain for a few days now, and it still hasn't. Getting kind of desperate for rain. Running out of water. Well, not really. I could just get it out of the bathroom. But running out of easily accessible water. It looks like it's about October 4th, if I'm reading that right. It's kind of hard to tell the date on these watches. It's so small. It's still pretty warm. Uh, do I want this kind of rug? Kind of a bland gray. I don't think I want it. Put a bland gray rug on my bland gray concrete floor. No thanks. There's a bunch of them in here. Oh boy. Let's see if we can take them. Uh, maybe I can use the table as cover. Uh, nope, too many. Let's get out. <laughs> Let's do it the safe way. Don't get cocky. Just let them come to me. Do this Diablo 2 style and camp in a doorway. There we go. Good enough. Now, that ground attack is just garbage with the spear. Yeah, I gotta I just stop doing that. Get you killed. It's got a long animation, too. I hear zombies out here. So let's clear these guys away. There's a whole bunch. This is almost as good as the katana. It's a little slower than the katana. Animations are more prone to get you killed, but it's a lot easier to get spears than it is to get katanas, that's for sure. All right, let's take this rug. Seems like the coast is clear. Another orange rug. Let's, uh, get a little bit more lively color in the very gray base. And throw in my backpack. Yeah, that's the last house, so other side of the street now. Got two rugs out of all those houses, so not bad. It's a pretty decent rug density. That's a tough one, he's up three hits. And, oh, there is a rug in here. Excellent. A nice blue rug. Blue and orange happen to be complementary colors. 
and they'll go very nicely together. Things you learn as a lighting design minor in college. What colors are complementary? Just general art classes. Still got room in there, yeah? yeah. It's getting a little full. I think I can fit another one in here. Yeah, this music track, this, this one in particular, just seems really loud. So I have turned down the music, but still. I think just because of the frequencies that it's using, because it's such a high frequency. There's no rug in there. Let's see about this one. Yep, there's another one. Another blue rug. So I got two orange and two blue. Yeah, the things you do to fill your time when you've survived for almost five months. <laughs> Set up a base in the mall. Get some carpets for it. It's important to stay occupied. In the zombie apocalypse. Uh, another drab gray rug. I'll pass. And since I'm right here near the ambulance, I'll throw these in the trunk of it. That's something I learned from Gnome is that you can queue, queue up the actions. You don't have to wait for it to complete to do the next one. So, thanks Gnomas. More zombies to oh. mow down with the spear. Once I get to level 10, I really do want to do an experiment of which one's better. Like, does the hunting knife really make that much of a difference? Or can a butter knife do just well enough? The same, same goodness? I don't know how to... Words. The like hunting knife and butter knife are roughly equivalent. I'll just save the hunting knives to do short blade with, short blade with instead of wasting them all on spears. Another grab dray rug, grab yeah drab gray rug. If I don't find too many more, I may be forced to take them just to have some kind of rug. Piano? Hmm, well, you know, I don't have a piano. You know what? We're gonna take it. Because why not? I could use a piano next to my Spiffo Shrine. It's important to worship, worship, ugh, worship Spiffo with music. Be a cool addition if they let you like play the instruments. I haven't seen anything in the dev blogs indicating that that's ever going to be a thing, but you never know. They do add all kinds of random shit, like jewelry. So you know, one day maybe we'll be able to play the piano. In the meantime, it's just a nice looking decoration. Right, back to our rug search. Yeah, 
And I think it was that house had the piano, so this one is next. I hear some zombies. Uh, a burgundy rug? Well, it's not gray, so I'll take it. It's not as fancy as the other ones, but it'll do in a pinch. It's certainly better than gray concrete floors. And since we're closing in on winter, you don't want concrete floors, uh, Shirley's feet will get cold. Uh, there's a bunch of them in around here. I can hear more of them than I can see. Uh, so let's let them, let them come to me. It sounds like there's one in that tree stand. A stand of trees right there. A zombie with a backpack. This one's just chilling on the ground. Pick it up. All right. If you ain't gonna get up, I'll just kill you on the ground. Yeah, there's gotta be one in here somewhere. Yeah, there he is. It's like a hero. A prisoner, a yellow prisoner jumpsuit. <laughs> Some more offerings for Spiffo. Uh, what do they got in their backpack? Looks like a can of food and a map. We got a jockey. And tomato. And riverside maps, I need that. But I will take the backpack. Stockpile a few of those back in the base. Still got a few zombies. Still got That's why, you should... That's why you should take corners wide. So you never know who's around the corner. Alright, no rug in here. Let's keep going. Uh, should I go over there? No. It's nothing. No, I got a follower. Uh, I bet you that's lo level 10 spear. It is! Level 10. Alright. I'm almost at level 10 maintenance. Uh, so let's switch to the nightstick then. Start leveling up short one. So that'll be good. I could use spears as a replacement for the katana. Roughly, you know, exactly the same skill level. Let's see what we got in here. Uh, no rug. Bunch of savages. Who doesn't have a rug in their living room? I mean, I guess people who can't afford rugs, but that's a whole different story. Looks like they're behind that door. Oops. There we go. Oh, decked out in jewelry. Nice. And another burgundy rug. Oh, it's better than gray. Beggars can't be choosers. And my 
backpack. Right, I think we're almost rugged out. Eat the rest of this berry salad. That should be all of it. Yep. The hunger comes back pretty fast, eating those. Let's check this car. I never actually looked in this car. Some maps. And some tools, a first aid kit. Nothing I need really. Uh, another orange rug. Love it. I just need one of those fancy green rugs. I think that'll complete the set of all the different kinds of rugs you can have. A very pressing survival need, obviously. Rugs. <laughs> but you know, if all I cared about was survival, I would still be in Riverside. Just chilling in my base. Oh, didn't get that one. And I wouldn't have something like 14,000 zombie kills. Alright, well, backpack's full, but we only got a couple houses left. Let's see what this car's got. As a key. Not that it really matters. I don't particularly need cars at this point in time. If I did, I could just get them from the mall parking lot. There's a whole lot of them out there. Oh, uh, yeah, one of these ones. Yeah, there is one more type of green rug out there. But. I don't really care that much about having the complete set or anything. I just want something other than gray. Something to keep Shirley's feet warm in the winter. And fitness is like I'm about two thirds of the way there. Kind of curious. We did get that point in strength already. I don't think I've ever had a character where I actually leveled those up. Before, surely. Back home, put these rugs down. And have this extra backpack, I may as well use it. in your base. <laughs> Some really epic music for it. Alright, so I have one in my inventory, right? Yeah. So let's put this one... Yeah, I wonder if I could put it under... under these display cases. 
have it stick out a little bit, maybe? Find out. Uh, maybe that'll work. Yeah, they'd be entirely covered by... Alright, let's put this thing back. That's not gonna work. And throw this shit back in there. My apologies, Biffo, I did not mean to take my offerings away from you. And we can put it here. We'll just like surround it with orange drugs. Oh, this is the wrong orientation. Damn. There, we'll put it here. Just pick this one back up. And maybe while we're sitting here, we'll get a weather broadcast out of the radio. If we're lucky. This one, let's see, goes that way, so we'll put this one over here. Oh, we are getting a radio broadcast. Too busy putting down rugs, though. There, a rug for Spiffo to sit on. Mild wind. Weather continues throughout the day, so we should get rain. That was for tomorrow, though. So we'll definitely get rain tomorrow, according to that radio. So let's get out these fancy blue rugs. What's the orientation for these ones? No, oh, they go that way. Okay. We'll just put them down kind of helter-skelter. I don't really feel like committing too many brain cells to making it super nice or whatever. Just need rugs. There's a corner. Need another corner. There we go. And decide. Alright, so now we got another blue rug. Oh, this one. Yeah, it's got the same orientation. Put that one down. This is fascinating, riveting viewing. But, you know, things you do to keep occupied in the zombie apocalypse. Get rid of that. Alright, got another orange one. This is already looking a little better. A lot better than just drab gray concrete floors. Uh, let's put the other one over here. Make kind of like a pathway over to the Spiffo Shrine. That's all of them. Oh, nope, got 
right, one more fancy orange. Oh, and two of the red ones. Yeah, forgot about those. Well, fancy orange, huh? Let's see. I'll put it here. Let's do them all in a row. Perfect. Now for the red ones. Um, I should probably put one in the kitchen here. So she's like standing there doing cooking in her bare feet and she won't get cold feet. She's like washing her clothes or something. It's the right orientation, right? Uh, yeah. This one. Uh, yes. Here we go. Got our kitchen rug. And you know, I should probably put one over by the bed too. Oh no, I'll put one right here. fill out the square around the little living area type thing. There we go. That's all of them. Alright, let's make our offerings. Oh, great and mighty Spiffo, please accept these offerings from your humble servant and keep me from harm. Amen. lagging on my offerings. Gotta keep them flowing. Ensure my continued survival. And throw this bowl back. And I don't really need this spear anymore. So I got nightsticks in there to use as my uh, backup. I'm gonna wanna be oops, pillar. I'm gonna wanna be using those. You know, get some practice in a short blunt until it's leveled. What should I do with the rest of the day? It's 1420. Maybe I'll go kill some zombies. Seems kinda clear. Yeah, there's a few. I just want to look at these zombies to get rid of the boredom. Because that's a good way to get rid of boredom. Let's just go look at a zombie. You don't have to waste any resources or anything that way. Because there are a limited number of books in the world. Alright, let's take the piano. Oops, overshot it. There you go. Climb away. Yep, just hauling my 40 kilo piano up a sheet rope. <laughs> and I think I'll put it in the corner there. Can I hold both of these in my inventory? No. I can drop one on the ground. <clears throat> and that'll count. There we go. And yeah, right there is fine. Boom. So I can play the piano and sing my hymns to Spiffo whenever I please. Alright, well, it's looking a little bit homier in here. Not bad. Let's get the 
this backpack put away. Um, it's kind of dark in that base, so I need some lamps. Let's go look for lamps. There's got to be lamps in the mall, right? It's all these furniture stores and stuff. So let's go check them. Here, it's a clothing store. Let's go check the actual furniture store back here. Uh, nope, just furniture, no lamps. What about in here? Just appliances and tables. Uh, it, that's new. I haven't noticed that before. They put like flowers and stuff on the uh, the dressers. A little bit more clutter to make it look a little bit lived in. Uh, no lamps in here. Uh, maybe upstairs. Mm, no, this is the clothing store. Oh, there's another Spiffo Triumphant mannequin if I need it. Could make a second shrine somewhere. A third shrine. There's TVs. Oh, lamps, huh? I guess, like rugs, it's one of those things that the mall just doesn't have. Maybe the restaurant will have some. Some wall lamps or something. Nah, just booths. I may have to go back to those houses again just to pick up some lamps. This will give me something to do today. I could just kill zombies. Uh, let's check. It's like office type deals. Maybe the offices will have lamps in them. Whoever these attorneys are or whatever, they have no use for light. <laughs> Damn. Well, let's do a little bit more thorough of a search. Let's check the other places. Nothing in there. The food court seems unlikely. It will have lamps. No, I don't see any. The appliance store here. here Electronic store. It's the hardware store. This is clothing store. Nope. Well, damn. What a bummer. Well, I guess we're going back to those houses then. Cause I need, it so I need a few lamps. It's kind of dark in there. I only got the one. So let's put our armor back on. Uh, get going. I am starting to get bored, so it'll be good to look at some zombies. Is that tired? Oh, that was boredom. Well, that's driving a car makes you less bored. That's another way to get rid of boredom. Just hop in your car and drive around for a little bit. If you don't have any books.
Thankfully these houses are not very far. Looks kind of stupid. I'm not gonna take it. I'm very opinionated about my lamps. Well, let's look in this house. There's a wall lamp. I'll take it. Yeah, another one of those plants on the table. <laughs> yeah, that must be new. Don't remember seeing those before. Got lamps in here. There's one. Yeah, it's kind of a cool red. Very vibrant. Let's throw these in my backpack. And the weight values in this game are pretty weird. Like, lamps are heavier than carpets. I think that mirror too. Good to have a mirror in the base. Well, that's kind of a cool lamp. I'll take it. Is this a bedroom? Nope, bathroom. Take this plant too, because why not? Gotta liven up the place a little bit. Alright, let's just run across the street to over here. Uh, there's a wall lamp. Too many wall lamps because I don't actually have very many walls in my base. Uh, but could could use a few. I guess I could build walls. I do mean to build some walls uh, within that actual base area, but just haven't gotten there yet. I haven't really felt inspired to do it. It's kind of kind of cool the way it is anyway like a studio kind of deal uh, nothing down here let's check upstairs well I have enough let's well I am kind of short on carpets so I'll just take one of these. Just kind of break up the monotony a little bit. Don't like the color all that much, but... You gotta do what you gotta do. Bathroom. I already have one of these type of lamps, so I'll take a matching one. 
Or, no, I already have one of those. I'll just leave it. Well, since there are no other options, I don't feel like searching more houses. I'm just gonna take it. And I think that's probably, that's probably good enough. Oh, backpack's full. So yeah, I think that's my cue. Time to get out of here. I'll jump in the ambulance and get going. It'll start. Oh, praise Spiffo's brain. Finally. I feel like I've been waiting weeks for this rain. <laughs> Take these turns up on two tires. drive a little recklessly. You know, when I get here, I get a little bit worse performance. There's probably a bunch of zombies around, but I may as well do my daily perimeter check while I still am in the car. Let's check this perimeter. So far, so good. been respawning around the base all that much. Uh, looks like there might be a gap here in the car mode. Let's check. Nope. There probably will be soon, but it's still good. Still good. Need to adjust that pink, pink sports car here. Look at how far that's moved out from the wall. Well, apparently, this design of car mode is not that good. I'll have to switch their configuration at some point to be uh, perpendicular to the doors instead of parallel. I'll do that some other time. Ah, rain. Praise Spiffo. It's because I gave him those offerings, obviously. He's blessed me with rain. Alright, let's take the armor off so we don't get overheated. It's still pretty warm out. Alright, so what we got? Uh, we have a nut. Outdoor lamp for a wall, so I'll put that next to the Spiffo Shrine. I got this rug first. I do need a rug for my uh, bedroom area here. So we'll put this one here. It does kind of match, you know, the dark wood from the bedroom set. So, it's not the worst. Oh, and that last piece is in my backpack. There we go. Alright, now the round lamp I'll put 
next to the Spiffle Shrine to illuminate our Lord and Savior. Beautiful. And I got this other wall lamp. Which I'll put here in the kitchen area. No, put it over here. It's pretty dark over here. There we go. Lighten up the area a little bit better. Uh, I got this plant. Where should I put the plant? Uh, we'll put the lamp on top of the washer here. There we go. That lights up the kitchen nicely. Uh, might as well put the plant there. Getting another water broadcast. Weather broadcast. So, thunderstorms for the next couple days. Oh, uh, well. You ask for rain, you get rain. Put this mirror here. Yeah, that's looking a little better. Nice. Yeah, let's see if I can put one on top of this box. It may be too far from the generator. Yeah, it is. Yeah, well. Alright, well, the rest of these, I need tables to put them up, so... Maybe I'll bring some tables in, set them up around, who knows. Not right now, though. Cool. Well, screenshot time. Show a little bit of the progress of my base. I always gotta have the info panel open to show how long we've survived. There. Beautiful. Alright, well. Speaking of the generator, I should go check on it. I haven't looked at the generator in a few days, actually. How are these crops are doing? Let's see. That is one of my daily chores. Check on the crops. Growing phase four. Still growing phase one. Okay. How's this filling up? 9% already? Not bad. Alright, let's check the Jenny. How's it doing? Could use some fuel. Its condition's alright. But, you know, it couldn't hurt just to stuff some scrap in there. I'll fix it. So that electronic scrap is incredibly abundant, easy to come by. It's not really a waste to use it. 100%, 100%. And I still got some gas left. Nice. Cool. Well. If it's raining, I can't really sit outside and waste time. Uh, Cause I don't have an umbrella. At least I don't think I do. Let's check here. Nope, no umbrella. All right.
Oh, I still need to plumb the sink. Huh. Guess I never did that. Well, let's do it now. There we go. Make sure that washing machine is plumbed. It is. I don't need this wrench anymore. Alright, well, let's go look for an umbrella. If I was an umbrella, where would I be? So if I have an umbrella, then I can go sit outside. Here, this is like a general store, right? Yeah. So this might have an umbrella in it. Let's check. Nope. Yeah, now that I'm actually living here. The loot in the mall isn't that great. <laughs> like the hardware store is pretty on point. The food court was pretty disappointing in what food it actually had. So let's check this hardware store, see if there's an umbrella here. It's like, this is a lot of stuff, obviously. So the, the hardware store is pretty good, loot-wise. But other than this... There aren't really that many good stores here. But there's no gun store. I'm trying to know what kind of mall in Kentucky doesn't have a gun store, but apparently this one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's clothing stores and a bunch of mannequins, I guess. But overall, pretty disappointing. And there's a toy store. There's not too many toy stores on the map. I think there's only one in Riverside. Uh, so you can get your Spiffo dolls. So that's kind of unique and good. But yeah, I don't know. About this electronic store is this like a general kind of thing. Yeah, sort of. Electrical supplies. And there's the food court, but there wasn't actually that much food in the food court. Uh, a toy store? Maybe there's umbrellas in toy stores, I don't know. There's a hunting knife in the toy store. <laughs> I mean, it is Kentucky, so you never know. Give their children hunting knives. Well, the hunting knives in this game are so big, they're not really like hunting knives, they're more like combat knives. It's like hunting knives aren't actually that that big. You don't use them to kill the animals, you use them to butcher them after the fact. Unless you're a total savage, you're just fucking running them down with a knife, like a barbarian. This looks like a general store. Well, there's no, there's no umbrellas, but maybe bath towels will do in a pinch. I think I can dry myself off every now and then. Probably not that sustainable. Yeah, no umbrellas so far. Some chocolate? Well, I do need to gain weight, and I am hungry, so let's eat the chocolate. 
perfect. But yeah, chocolate I think is like the second best thing for gaining weight other than melted ice cream. Yeah, these containers are just random junk. Sporting goods store, maybe? This is a sporting goods store. Not too much in here, though. Just some bags. I don't really need those kinds of bags. Um, you could check, like, the Sears. The home goods store, this thing. The shelves are full of like general store kind of shit. So maybe we'll find an umbrella here. Mm, no. There's a blue light bulb. Maybe I'll use that in the base. Have like some crazy psychedelic colors going on. Well, take this battery for the radio. I think I will need batteries for that as time goes on. No umbrella though. Well, maybe one of you guys saw an umbrella in here at some point. Let me know if you did. I'm coming up empty. Oh, there's lamps in the shelves. <laughs> I didn't know you could have lamps on shelves. So, got a couple more lamps. A uh, bunch of things to make spears out of, but no, no umbrella. I'm gonna need light bulbs now that I'm actually using lamps because they'll burn out over time. So I'll we'll collect a few of those up. Green light bulb? Sure, why not? Yeah, no umbrella. Unless I get lucky. This last container. Nope. Hmm. Who knew umbrellas were so hard to come by? Maybe they count as clothing? Uh, doesn't seem like it. What's actually in these containers? A oh, whole lot of nothing. Oh, lockets. Yeah. I'm sure if you can't, if you go to the mall on a fresh save, like a new game, that these things will probably be full of jewelry. Uh, but because the inventory loaded before the jewelry update. I just don't have any jewelry. Yeah, that's a bakery. Maybe these... No. Alright, well, I guess we just don't have an umbrella, but we can sit around inside and use our books instead, I guess.
reasons. I try not to use the books for mortar reduction as much, because they are a finite resource, but they're effectively infinite here with how big the bookstore is. Oh uh, yeah, that's the only other thing that Mall has going for it, that's the bookstore. So let's turn on the washing machine now that the it's been raining for a bit, the rain barrels are probably filling up. Yeah, the bookstore, the hardware store, and the toy store. Pretty much the only things the mall's got going for it. So well, let's refill this water dispenser. I'm very glad that they let you add water back into these things. So we'll have a little bit of a water reserve right here in the base. Rain barrel collector up top will refill again. Yep, that thing's full. So let's put this in place where it goes. Which is over here. And now since I can't see around this arcade machine, I'm gonna swap these with each other. Looks like the Dr. Oid's machine keeps blocking off the view to the, the pinball machine. So we'll put this one against the wall and this one right there. There we go. the lamp related stuff in here and yeah I guess I should wash my clothes now that it's raining too uh, let's just sit here and wait for the laundry to finish uh, what's in there already Let's try out these clothes too. Play dress up. Um, the protection on this shirt's not very good. The military pants are the same as jeans, as far as protection goes. Let's see how they look. Air Force helmet. It's kind of cool. I wonder if it gives you neck protection. Uh, yeah, it does. Ah. So you get neck protection from the Air Force helmet. I think you only get that unique Z, though. Like, it's a default item, but they don't spawn it in the game without unique Z. So if I take it off... Yeah, it does have neck protection. Well, shit, this is going to be my new helmet then. Instead of the police one. Just fuck the police. Yeah, let's see what she looks like with this urban camo shirt. Kind of ridiculous having two different camouflage patterns. Until we find a military jacket or a military shirt, I'm just gonna stick with the denim. Uh, but she's kind of dirty. Let's see all the dirt on her. Up the uh, the 
Riot helmet for storage. Be a backup if I ever lose this helmet. Wash the rest of my clothes. Oh, my oh, we don't have enough water. Well, I guess we'll use the washing machine. thousand zombies. <laughs> Fucking do it, man. So we'll read a book. To uh, get rid of the anxiety, we'll run over to the pharmacy to look for some sleeping pills. Sleeping pills? No. Maybe I already grabbed him out of here. More food. And 
sleeping tablets yet. Yeah, let's eat this. We are hungry, we do need to gain weight. At least the cookie too. Got rid of the hunger. Oh, well, there is a back area here. Let's see if we got sleeping tablets back here. A lot of antibiotics. There we go. Sleeping tablets. Take a few of those, get back to bed. And I just won't fight anything tomorrow. So I think if you get waking up in the night, um, it resets so uh, you just get as much sleep as whatever you get. So like, if I wake up at 8.30, I'll only get 3 hours of sleep. Even though it was technically like, 8 hours. I'll throw those in the nightstand. And wait around till the pills kick in. There we go. Let's go back to sleep. So I'll just make sure not to fight today. So I can get tired quickly. Alright, well, that was a pretty boring day, I've had to say so myself, but it's such as you gotta do in a zombie apocalypse, so I'll catch you next time.